To determine the value of each trigonometric ratio, we'll be using this uh, SOCA 2R rule. It says that uh, sine ratio is uh, opposite over hypotenuse and cos ratio is uh, adjacent side over hypotenuse and then tangent ratio is uh, opposite over hypotenuse. Let's determine tangent Z from this uh, given triangle. So we write down tangent Z of this equals uh, according to the so-called over it is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite side length to angle Z is XY and the adjacent side length is uh, ZY. So and this equals uh, the side length XY equals 21 over ZY is uh, 28. So this could be simplified. We have a common uh, factor of 7. So this is 7 times of 3 and this is uh, 7 times of 4 which means uh, we can cancel the common factor 7. So we get uh, 3 fourths. Therefore tangent of Z equals 3 fourths. We now determine cosine of angle C of this triangle. So here we use this uh, uh, so that is uh, cosine of angle is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. So we write down cosine of angle C and this equals the adjacent side to angle C is CB. So it is CB over hypotenuse is uh, AC. So CB is not given. So I write down this as CB over AC is 34. Now we have to determine the CB using Pythagorean identity. So we will apply this uh, Pythagorean identity. Uh, that is, uh, which says that uh, sum of the squares of the legs equals the square of the hypotenuse. So we have two legs, that is uh, CB is one of the leg. We have to square it up and sum it up with the square of another leg, which is AB. So this is uh, Pythagorean identity. This equals hypotenuse, which is uh, AC square. Now let's substitute the values. So CB is unknown. We write down this as CB quantity square plus AB is 30. So it is uh, 30 square. And this equals AC equals uh, 34. So it is 34 square. Now we can solve for CB from this uh, equation. So I'm sorry for that. Uh, uh, this line just uh, came up. I'm not sure how it uh, came up. Uh, so I've just cleared up. And let's continue. So this is uh, CB quantity square plus uh, 30 square is uh, 900 and this equals uh, 34 square which is uh, 1156. Now we can solve for CB square when we subtract uh, 900 from both sides. So therefore this equals 1156 minus 900 and this equals uh, 256. So we have the equation CB square equals uh, 256. Now to determine only CB, we have to take square root on both sides. So that we will get only CB. And this equals square root of 256 is uh, 16. So we have to determine CB which equals uh, 16. And that means uh, we can uh, substitute into this uh, equation. That is uh, cos of C cosine of C and this equals uh, CB we have determined as 16 over 34 and we have a common factor of uh, 8 uh, in the numerator and denominator this 16 is uh, 8 times 2 and this 34 is uh, 17 times 2 this is 17 times 2 so I can cancel this 2 and 2 and finally we left with uh, cosine of C equals uh, 8 over 17. Let's determine sine of C from this uh, triangle. So according to Sukhot over sine of uh, any angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So when you consider this uh, angle C, the opposite side is uh, AB and the hypotenuse is uh, AC. So we can write down sine of angle C and this equals uh, AB 
over the side AC. And AB is given as 28. AC is uh, hypotenuse, which is uh, 35. So let's simplify this. 28, uh, we write down this as 7 times 4. And 35 is uh, 7 times 5. So we can cancel this uh, common factor. So it simplifies to 4 over 5. So this is sine of angle C. Let's determine tangent of x from this triangle. So here we use this uh, tangent uh, trigonometric ratio. That is uh, tangent of any angle is opposite over uh, adjacent side. So I write down this uh, tangent of x. For angle x, the opposite side is uh, zy. So this equals uh, zy side. Over adjacent is uh, this xy side. So here it is xy. Now let's substitute the uh, values. Zy is unknown, which we will determine. And xy is uh, given as 24. Now let's determine Zy using the Pythagorean identity. I'm going to write down this as an equation. Zy equals uh, the square of the hypotenuse, that is uh, xc square, minus the other leg, which is uh, xy quantity square. And this should be under the root. So now let's substitute this uh, xc square, which is uh, 40 square, minus xy is uh, 24 in this square. So 40 square is uh, 1600, minus 24 square is uh, 576, and this should be under the square root. 1600 minus uh, 576, this equals uh, 1024. And when we take this square root, we get uh, 32. So we have determined zy equals uh, 32. And this means uh, we can substitute in uh, tan z. So therefore, we now write uh, tan z, that is uh, tangent of z. This equals uh, zy, which we have found out as uh, 32. So therefore, this equals uh, 32 over 24. You see that uh, we have the common factor of 8. So this is uh, 8 times 4 and 24 is uh, 8 times 3. And this means uh, we can cancel out the common factor. So we get only 4 over 3. Therefore, tangent of z, this equals 4 third. We now determine cosine of angle A from this uh, triangle. So, according to this uh, Sokotova, it is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, I write down cosine of angle A and this equals uh, adjacent. For angle A, the adjacent side is uh, 30. So, which is uh, AB. We will write down this as AB. And the hypotenuse is uh, AC. So, AB equals uh, 30 and uh, AC equals uh, 34. Now we can uh, write down in simple terms. We can write down this as uh, 10 times of 3. And this I can write down as uh, 17 times of 2. Which we can uh, for this simplify the numerator. That is uh, I can write down this 10 as uh, 5 times of 2. And then we have this 3 divided by 17 times of 2. You know cancel the common factor in the numerator and denominator so that these two gets cancelled and we have uh, 5 times of 3 equals uh, 15 over 17. So therefore we see that uh, cosine of angle A and this equals uh, 15 over 17. We now determine sine of angle A for this uh, given triangle. So sine of angle A is uh, opposite side over uh, hypotenuse. So I write down sine of angle A and this equals uh, opposite side is uh, CB over hypotenuse is uh, AC. So let's substitute uh, CB equals 32 and AC is uh, hypotenuse which is uh, not known. We can determine AC. Uh, once again we can apply the Pythagorean identity. So according to Pythagorean identity the hypotenuse hypotenuse square and this equals uh, sum of squares of other two legs that is uh, cb square 
plus uh, AB square. CB is 32, so it is uh, 32 square plus AB is uh, 24, so it is 24 square. So therefore, this equals uh, 32 square is uh, 1024 and uh, 24 square is uh, 576. So when we add these two, we get uh, 1600. Notice that uh, this is uh, AC quantity square. So to determine AC, we have to take square root on both sides. So I take square root. So square root of uh, this AC quantity square, this equals uh, AC. And the square root of 1600 is uh, 40. So we have determined AC equals 40. And this means uh, we can now solve for uh, sine of angle A. So therefore sine of angle A. And this equals uh, 32 over AC. According to this 32 over AC. So I plug in AC equals uh, 40. So let's simplify this. Uh, we have common factor of 8, so I can write down this as 8 times 4, and this is uh, 8 times uh, 5. Now we can cancel this common factor, so this equals uh, 4 over 5, or 4 fifths. So therefore, we see that uh, sine of angle A equals uh, 4 fifths.